Oh yeah, it's called the whole shop. We're ready to go. How fabulous! Welcome to Summer Cross, everybody. BOP, MCC, the Bay, plenty of motorcycle club, and we're away into what's normally a blind spot. But CTAS has got it covered with a great line through there on the inside as we take the first corner and come up towards the uh, line again. And already the uh, jump on the inside. It's the local. It's the local all the way. Yes, indeed. A storming run out in front for our big uh, 12 to 16. Uh, uh, 85 and the 150 we want to do a shout out for our 150s so there he goes number 100 look at that how good and uh, this man can fly i can tell you for sure as we uh, look out for the run in the early stages so uh, good work there at the moment yeah loving that loving that as we uh, check our uh, update there at the moment we'll uh, Take them on. Just a shout out, of course, for the Brady uh, drainage team today. Brady's, of course, doing our uh, mini motocross, our mini motocross track today. So uh, thank you to uh, Brady Drainage. And uh, what a cool T-shirt they've got. And I'm not going to mention what's on the T-shirt, but it's just to say that uh, uh, they love the sport uh, almost as much as we do, I feel. So uh, thanks indeed. Uh, so uh, keen to check it out. All right, uh, JMX85 in this uh, older age group, 12 through uh, uh, 16 for this one at the moment. And the MXD uh, class, and uh, keen to look out for it. We've uh, talked about enough of it. Aiden Hall, and a great start by uh, Aiden. And uh, man, why shouldn't the local do it? Eh? He's number two NZ after all, folks, as well. So uh, pretty special when you've got a man as good as this uh, right here and proud to be local. Here he goes, and he's supported by MXD as well. So uh, here we go and go racing. First up now with uh, 100 in here. There we are, there we are. Aiden and his uh, fan club cheering him on over the Tony Rees Motorcycles race call line. We go with 199, uh, 26 to get up on the inside so quickly. So great work out there from uh, Levi. The man out of Tauranga on a Method Moto Yamaha, Yamalu Fox Complete Motorcycles. Uh, Along with uh, Dr. Trim Workshop Graphics, Alpine Star, Altham, JCR, Yamaha and Blue Crew, uh, Levi Townley and that uh, auspicious uh, third place to look to. But I tell you what, it's the Aiden Hall benefit and he glances there, he can see the advantage he's got and he's using it well. Levi up to second, he's got the second place, 26 is on attack at the moment as we uh, look back. But I tell you what, 199 man, is this kid a flyer in New Zealand motocross or what folks? His name is Travis Taylor, comes out of Egmont Village in beautiful Taranaki, rides the action moto, Taylor Family Farm, Husqvarna. TC85 and uh, he too knows how to ride a motorcycle so great to see in a third place did have second did have second Levi's gone past him so uh, it's been promoted back one as we uh, look for the rest to fly but it uh, already is the three-way battle and there goes Aiden he's going to get a better look man did he ever make the break on them or what but Levi's coming Levi's coming he is, certainly is oh look at that beautiful high on the boom watch that riding line from Levi spectacular to watch Levi that is impressive but it's still the Aiden in front, then go to Levi, then the three-way bike fight being led by the 199 of uh, Travis Taylor. So it's uh, Travis that we uh, check out in the update and the next past the post as we uh, look to uh, a couple behind him. In fact, uh, one that just made a mistake through there and dropped back a fraction. So already here at the moment with uh, Aiden. So uh, keen to look for the other places to get in there. Shout out to uh, uh, Lincoln Gwynn and others uh, through the field as well. Ethan Carlton, Hayden Draper, and Maz Parks, Jack Ellingham look to be the next best in this uh, field as we uh, head over uh, Max's uh, tyres I pwned at the moment, here's your race lead 100 Aiden Hall out for the race lead along with 26 and Levi Townley keeping him on us there on the Method Moto Yamaha as we go to, oh I lost it the classic front wheel washout oh down he goes Travis Taylor, oh the change the change, the change, we've gone up to 5 we've gone to 5, Ethan Carlton the uh, Tauranga man has moved up on the A1 Homes New Zealand, uh, KDM SX85, Ethan Carlton. He's the man to uh, now move up to the third as we uh, look to uh, Travis. Still in the carnage, still in the carnage. What has gone on there? Oh, lack of preparation. And he's uh, collided there with the other rider. He'll be gut absolutely gutted with that. I see he's got a number one he's uh, put on the... Uh, Jersey, I think, in the like 199 on the back of the shirt. Is that the better way to see it? We'll find out. Certainly, Maz Parks has moved up to fourth. Ryan Foster's gone to fifth. Travis uh, Taylor's dropped back, but he's finally going there. Now, when I say uh, lack of preparation there for uh, Travis, referring to the fact that uh, when you do the front wheel washout, he didn't quickly go for the two hands on that bottom handlebar to get that bike up quickly. You've got to get it back on there. There's a real art to it. 
fact, uh, a, a number of good coaches do cover that in coaching sessions, how you pick your bike up when it goes down. And a particular good example here, your bike is falling more than 90 degrees, right? It's going from more than uh, vertical to horizontal because the horizontal is uh, further down because of the angle of the uh, corner. So it is a uh, quick job to do and you've got to really pack it and stack it. And of course the, the awkwardness was the fact that it's your non-throttle side so you can't control the bike revs. So you've got to get it up and get over and then of course get round onto the high side to get your leg back over. But in the case of uh, Travis, uh, he had another rider caught there as well. So drama filled, drama filled in the early part of the race. But I tell you what, Hundy's got it, Hundy's there. And uh, Hundy's a flyer, it is the number 100 of Aiden Hall on the uh, Brady Motorsport, Patterson Econo Motorcycles, MXD Custom Details, Chase Works has mentioned, uh, 640 milking, shout out to 640 milking, Bevan and the team there at 640 milking, your milking uh, uh, supply uh, experts, uh, proud to be behind the club as well, thank you Bevan and the crew, another man there with uh, great support to celebrate Summer Cross and the uh, 50th anniversary of this uh, summer festival of motocross being held here in the beautiful uh, Bay of Plenty for uh, over 50 years. Of course, we lost one with COVID along the way, as you can uh, well appreciate. So there we go. There's the 199. There's the 199. And our uh, other bike, so he had made the recovery. It probably wasn't as bad as we'd originally uh, thought there. But it has been a, a little bit of a step back to him all the same. Twenty nine to go along with uh, fourteen and more riders to get up and over. There's a uh, plenty of carnage happening on this uh, corner. Right, how do you get it? How do you get it that you don't lose your front wheel on the corner? I tell you what, how you get it, folks, you keep your power on on the corner. What happened with uh, Travis and others is you're dropping your power off too much. You gotta drive your way through the corner and keep that uh, front wheel uh, on the uh, light side, so the power of uh, your back wheel, and of course the ability to turn a bike on its back wheel is an art in itself, and another example of some quality coaching coming into its own at the moment. 67 will be another one to update in the field on this occasion as we go past uh, George Cockrell out there. So, we uh, look to update uh, Bo and Bailey and Isaac, three other riders that are out there. I spot uh, Alex Bennett and the uh, crew as well. Wow, what a field, in fact, 38, 38 in total. Tyler Moxham, uh, Harrison uh, Reichenbach, Unfortunately, Jack Ellingham, one of those who is now well back in the field after he'd gone past. So there we are with the 100. Well, the field spreads around so quickly. There we go with 27. There's the five to go past, five to go past. So it's Ethan, Ethan, Ethan on the way, on the way. So uh, Ethan's uh, up there for the third place. Levi has gone to first already and uh, looking at 100 now for the uh, next placing. So uh, Levi, Levi and Aiden uh, changing around. Uh, Ethan and their Maz to go past. So uh, good fourth place from the Kawasaki rider. So uh, down here program 259, the man from Angakino on the pro circuit. Uh, Team Green, Kawasaki New Zealand, Crown Kiwi, Whites Power Sport, Ahapini Farming, Nutrition System New Zealand, LMC Graphics, Triple Eight Training, Auntie Mandy and the family. What a cool lot of sponsors for Mighty Mares. Uh, formerly out of the Mighty Tararua, but now from Angakino, uh, Mares Parks in a very good uh, fourth place. But it's uh, all here with uh, Levi at the moment. He's the man uh, uh, stacking him up, keeping eyes on the uh, 26, the nonchalant number. You don't see much in the number uh, uh, 26, you'd expect. 11, we can spot to go past for uh, Ryder. Looking out now here to uh, 66, 272. Out there now, Bo Phillips as well. Check out uh, 144 and uh, a Penny to do her double classing. 505, 151, uh, 208 in there for uh, Wanganui's uh, Isaac Ashworth out of Forest Services and Training, Jet Tech uh, Racing, Peregrine Motorcycles, 70 Distribution, the Home and Moto, Bongaro Insurance Brokers. Uh, 635, uh, 489, there's your race lead, the race lead, we've been waiting for it, 26 to go, 26 for Levi, a uh, good advantage, and uh, Levi Townley, your race leader, 100 for Aiden, Aiden Hall, picking it up for a second place, number two NZ and number two in the race at the moment for the local man, Aiden, good work, good work. Another uh, loose ride here from uh, number uh, 321, all over the place for young Lincoln, but good to see him uh, giving it a go. There's the five of uh, Ethan, Ethan Calvin on the A1 Homes NZ uh, bike. He's in the third place. Looking for the Kawasaki for fourth, won't be 72. There we go, 259. There we, oh, what a jump from Maz. How spectacular was that? Had it nailed, just leapt over there, put his body language 
uh, into it and uh, was able to keep the pair on. He was a, what you'd call a fraction out of shape. wasn't his fault. It was the angle of which he'd gone across on the line, but he was able to use his uh, body and uh, bring the bike back under control. That was spectacular, to say the least. Here's our 199 and uh, Travis Taylor to go past the Action Moto uh, rider. Looking good from the start. Wasn't uh, a third. Got himself to uh, second. Uh, but then he dropped back with his form and he's uh, starting to make up some time now. Jack Ellingham, he was back to almost last. He now started to make some time up, but when you're back in 33rd place, you've got your back to the wall, as we politely say on that one. Then looking out to uh, Hayden Draper, Ryan uh, Foster in there, along with the Jacob Beatty. Welcome back, JJ. So uh, Jacob Beatty and the Beatty name, of course, formerly out of the Waikato, now back home in uh, beautiful Apodica here in the east of O'Plenty. And uh, uh, Team Beatty doing a bit of... Uh, Awakaponga uh, Racing, and good to see Jacob back. And of course, won't ever forget Jacob and his uh, win in the 50 class at the uh, uh, International uh, Supercross in Auckland a few years ago when they had the KDM 50 uh, demo uh, ride. So it was open to all the KDM riders, and he was a man that uh, stoked it and smoked it and got his uh, name in limelight, and more importantly, his uh, picture on the uh, TV news. So uh, well done. All right, white flag is out, white flag is out. Symbol of one lap to go for MXD. Uh, uh, 40, 12 to 16 years, uh, 85. There's your second place now with Aiden. So 26 along with that 100, first and second. Looking for the update now. Should be the number five as he uh, comes through the corner for the penultimate time. And uh, Ethan Carlton there on the KDM. Good work. Love the new aero helmet there for uh, Ethan. As we uh, check out uh, 47 to go uh, past now. Uh, Fletcher Ruck out of Taronga. There's Mighty Maz, Maz Parks. And uh, still again, that uh, excellent fourth place. Hopefully, Travis. Are we going to get Travis next up? We'll find out shortly. Looking for the 199 for Travis as we uh, organise uh, 39. And uh, Oscar Walford out of Auckland on the Terravac supported uh, 85, 29. Yeah, there we go. There's the 199. There goes Travis. Travis Taylor up through there. And the one, the one of Hayden Draper. Hayden Draper. So uh, Hayden with the uh, number one on his gear that uh, portrays. The uh, correct update now that we've been able to get the bike. So he's got one on the gear, but it's not in your program. And uh, nor is it uh, that way on the entry lineup. So uh, Travis will uh, give himself a, uh, a pat on the back, I hope, for that. He'll, be, he'll still got it with his fall, don't get me wrong. But uh, Hayden, I should say, my apologies. Then we go to Ryan Foster looking for Jacob. Ruby in there. Ruby Leach. Ruby, 28. Looking for Ruby. Looking for the girl power. So well done to uh, Ruby. And there she goes, nice line on the inside. Going to overtake another one. And uh, looks for the uh, little turn. Good work. One of our real up and coming young ladies at the moment. This is the one to look out for, Ruby Leach. So the uh, eye shot on uh, Ruby at the moment on the 28 as we uh, look out for the uh, update. So uh, 28 for Ruby. Ruby out of the Helensville on the Empire Excavation. Miss uh, Little Miss Enchanted. Uh, Auckland Engineering Supplies, iPhone Oil, Stock uh, Gloves, along with Hoffman Construction. So on the little Gas Gas 85, so uh, go Ruby. An incredible young lady who we've watched and see her develop uh, over a small time in uh, Mini and now Junior Motocross. And when you're out in a male-dominated class like this and you're rocking the top ten, it's a great performance. This is where the pit board should be out to tell her where she is in the race. She needs to know, she needs encouragement, uh, as uh, many other riders do in the uh, pit boards. The unused uh, excellence of a pit board should be uh, more dominant for sure. Dominic Everly out of Otrahonga on the OTC uh, Timber Company, Kawasaki 85. Uh, got love you, Odo, uh, at home with the North King Country Club and a fabulous Waikato Champs just uh, earlier this month, of course. So uh, another great event on our uh, summer campaign. 47 to go through again for Fletcher. 199 for uh, Travis and one for Hayden and behind him as they go to the chequered flag. So but there's your update and uh, it is uh, Levi Aiden, Ethan Mears, Travis Hayden. Looking out now for uh, Ryan. So go to uh, Ryan Foster in here. And uh, Ryan should be the uh, next one. We're keen to uh, take it out. And uh, looking out, there we are. There's the 49. There he goes. So well done to Ryan out of only Ferro. And then we look to uh, 72, and it's not Stephen Evans, but it is uh, Ryder Van Helleman, the man out of uh, Pyro. And uh, still looking to uh, bust our way through with this top group. We're up to seventh, by the way. We're up to seventh. Looking for Jacob. Looking for Jacob Beatty. So uh, Jacob hopefully to be the next. And there he goes, Jacob Beatty across the line. And Ruby! Yes, there she goes. So uh, Ruby Leach carving herself into history with a uh, quality result there in our top placing. So... How good to see 
yeah, very positive to see. Then we've got uh, Ruby out there in this uh, domain of uh, boys and men. And here she was, able to uh, keep it up there. And ninth place too, by the way. And uh, by the way, Drew McDermott. Drew McDermott got the tenth. Bo Phillips demoted. So too for uh, 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 Flynn Spence. So well done out there. So there's your top ten in the MXD. Uh, 12 to 16 years, 85cc class. So it is uh, in there.